hi there welcome back to another video uh, today I'm going to do uh, a upcycle of a mirror it was a piece of mirror that I'd got and I put a frame around it which I never seem to be able to do I've got a chop saw and I measure my angles and everything else and I still end up having to fill it all so I don't know what that's about but never mind Anyway, I've decided I'm going to do it an anthropology style mirror. So I've got out four of my uh, redesign with Prima moulds and my air dry clay. And I'm just going to make quite a few up so that I've got quite a few to get going with. And then I can add more to as and where I want it. I've speeded you up a bit because it takes forever. And I've still not figured out how to do my music. So I'm really sorry, but you're going to have me and then silence again. But I will say, um, doing all this, obviously you'll see at the end how much is on. I used just over one and a half packets, which is, it's probably about £11, £12 altogether. And I'd already got the off cut of wood. And I'd already got the mirror off of a piece of furniture. So all it's cost me is my time and the £12 for the clay. I like all the roses. I've picked up a few more rose moulds. They seem to be more popular when I'm selling them on my furniture. So I've picked up two more of those, which I'm trying out today, which are the two grey ones. The others I've had for quite a while now. And we'll have a look what it looks like. But I shall leave you with me just making even more up. And then we'll go to placing them on the mirror. I always like to add in a bit of cornstarch into my moulds. Because one, it, it gives the definition better of the flower and two they pop out really easily if you don't use it i've used talcum powder when i've been pushed before so you know but i've i have found that if you don't use it it's one of the things that you do need to use really because if not they, they come out bitty or parts of it get stuck and you can't get them out properly and i'm using the das air clay which again I found here in the UK is one of the better ones to use. I've tried a few of the cheaper ones and they tend to be too sticky. So again they're sticking in your moulds all the time. They cut your fingers are covered and I just think for about five, six pound this is for a kilogram. And if you're not doing a big item, it does last quite a long time. So I think it's quite it's well worth the money really. If you have any questions on where I get anything from or questions in general, if you'd like and subscribe and leave a comment in the box below, I'll answer anything that I can do for you. Or even if you just want to say what a bodge artist I am, that's fine too. As you see, you do need quite a lot of moulds made up in advance, really. I find if you do it this way, then you can just get to the nice pretty bits, which is just sticking them on and... All the fun part of it but it is quite time consuming I think I was here probably a good hour <laughs> but luckily for you I speeded it up right this is a frame that I made just out to some wood that I'd got and like I say luckily the flowers are going to cover most of the bits I've had to fill so yet again I'm being I'm able to hide all my mistakes but I'm starting with the two really large ones in either corner and then I'm going to just build up going across the front on top of each other 
until I get a design that I'm quite happy with. Again, the horse is making an appearance, bless her. She's as bad as the dog. And these are fine to layer on top of. They just take longer to dry, that's all. But normally I just leave them overnight and when I come back the following day, they dry enough to paint over. Right, I don't know what happened here. I'm really sorry, but I've lost the bit where obviously I was layering up my frame. So it's nearly done. But I think you can get the gist of what I've been doing anyway. Who knows what I did with that part of the film. I'm just going to pop a few more on either side just to balance it out a little bit more and then I'm going to leave it overnight to dry and then hopefully when I come back it'll all be set enough for me to start painting over I hope everyone's doing okay and not going too mad in this lockdown. I'm not too bad actually. With working at home anyway, it's not a great deal different to me until I, I decide that I want to go on a bit of a, you know, a shopping looking spree and realise that you can't go nowhere. But I'm quite rural so I'm used to pottering about as such. But I feel sorry for these people who are out all the time, you know, when at work and it must be affecting you guys quite badly. But I've done now anyway. I'm going to leave it overnight and then here's a quick look of what I've done and then come back tomorrow and paint it. I've decided to use the Rust-Oleum's chalk paint in antique white. I didn't want it really bright. I'm having, I think I'm having this in my hallway, so I'm sure I'll be tweaking with it for weeks to come. But I'm just going to give it's. It is still in places a little bit damp, should we say? But it's fine to paint over. And I've got the heating on in here today. It's absolutely freezing outside today. It's ridiculous. But I'm just going to give all of it a coat. I'm not worried about getting in between and everything too much. I'll do that on my second coat. And just pray while I'm painting it that nothing falls off. Again, if you can hear anything in the background, the dog's decided to make an appearance again. She must think there's food about, because that's about the only thing that she moves for nowadays. What do your lot's pets think to you being at home? Do you think they like it, or...? I mean, again, with me, I've always been at home, so it's no different for my dog, but I should imagine it'll be quite hard for some of the pets when people go back to work full-time and they've got so used to having mum and dad at home all the time. 
to them being on their own again. It'll be like having a new puppy again, I think. Everyone will have to start training the dogs again. Right, I've painted this, so I'm going to leave it to dry. Remembered that I'd got the edges to paint in. As you can see in odd little places the dangly bits are still a little bit soft but they will go hard and like I say I'm, ha I'm having this in my house so it won't get damaged. I'm also now going to go in between all the gaps to cover where I miss with the big brush. And give it its second coat. I found inspiration for this off on Pinterest. Um, I've all, I've used the flower detailing for a long time. I put it on furniture, and if you check out some of my other videos, you'll see. But this one I found on. Pinterest and somebody had done it all the way around. I might do yeah, I might come back and finish it the whole frame off. I'm not sure, but it really did look nice and she she painted in all the flowers and everything, but I'm not that artistic. But that was quite nice. All just pastel colours and again it wouldn't go with my decor in the house. I just like white. I'm not very adventurous really. Right, so it'll be left to dry again. I've now put in, this is a few hours later obviously, I've now attached the mirror to it again and I'm using the Annie Sloan clear wax and black wax and I'm going over it with my Annie Sloan wax brush and then just a little makeup brush for the black and a damp microfiber towel and I pop on the clear wax first obviously to give it a base and then add in the black and take back with the cloth what I, uh, you know any excess that I don't that you don't want on there you can have it as heavy or as light as you like really but I do like this it takes it from looking nice to it really standing out and I've got other colour waxes so I use other colours as well but for my, it's going in my hallway, so I thought I'll have it white and black. It should blend with everything else I've got there then. Of course, my daughter doesn't like it, but she doesn't like anything like this. Do your kids moan about what you, if you make stuff at home and then have it in the house? Or are they all just quite understanding as such? And you're saying that kids they're not they're not into this sort of thing really are they? Not many of them. Her bedroom's just like ultra modern and white. And as you can see it, it's really adding an effect to it with the black wax. And again, just taking it off where I don't want it quite so heavy. And I'll show you the end picture at the end. Don't forget, please, to like, subscribe and comment below. And take care, everybody. Thank you.